We are Zip Zap. I'm Austin and I play drums. I'm Trevor and I play the bass. I'm Sam, I play guitar and lead vocal. Travis, I play keys. I'm Danny, I play other guitar. Um, it started off with me and Travis and um, we pretty much spent about two years trying to find the right lineup and switching through a million drummers and a million people in general and then got a hold of Austin who was friends with Danny so then them two came in and then Trevor we found him on the street <laughs> <laughs> begging for change <laughs> we have a mutual friend uh, with Trevor who recommended him and got us all together we're uh, spitballing names for for like months and we were just kind of doing that one day and Travis jokingly said, zip zap. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, no. And then I, bug I hated it. I bugged, I bugged him about it for like two weeks. And he's like, all right, but we have to have two P's on Zap. And I was like, yeah. And an exclamation point. And an exclamation point. When I heard the band, I hated the name. And then I grew to love it. Yeah. See, now, I could, now I couldn't like, I couldn't see this band as anything other than Zip Zap. Yeah. Yeah. The really second great. album is, um, at times it's a lot heavier than the first album. Oh, yeah. Um, it's got a bunch. <laughs> there aren't really. Is there like a, a soft song on the second album? Charade. Uh, the third kind of. Uh, the charade, kind yeah. of. But still, even that bass line is punchy. So, so yeah. yeah, there's not as much softness to it. Um, yeah, the, I don't know. The first one uh, was kind of like a more broad like spectrum. Like it got a little bit heavy and a, a little bit soft and pretty, but it was kind of all over. And, this album is more of like one, one sound where it's more, more heavy. It's a little bit more cohesive, almost yeah. Because of it, we more definitely cohesive. definitely figured out the production and the and the sounds, what we wanted to sound like yeah. on the second one. It's called the Hand of God, and um, that's actually going to be the last song on the album too. A big thing about like my writing process is the music is always first and. The lyrics, I'm, I never was a strong lyricist, so those were always second to kind of fill the space and just mostly be used as another instrument. So there's not a whole lot to the lyrics, but I think that there is a whole lot to the music. And I came up with the name The Hand of God for the last song because it it uh, it gets pretty like just strong and powerful and Crushing. Yeah, that album is done, and right now we're just kind of letting it marinate. Um, Shopping it around the labels to see if we can find someone to put it out. We pretty much started the, the band to be like a 70s rock and roll type of thing. Cream, Led Zeppelin. Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix is, is yeah. what made me want to play guitar. Yeah. Black Sabbath. I was going to say, live, live we kind of pick up a Sabbath-y kind of sound to us. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. That's the holy grail like, of music for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, I like a lot of energy in shows. Like, I want to see, if I go to a show, I want to see somebody move it, you know? I want to see somebody putting everything into it. That's what I like to do. So, headbanging, thrashing around, sometimes <laughs> in ballet, if I can. <laughs> Kind of the opposite of Danny. I, mean, <laughs> I I like playing shows and I like energy, like he says. But I'm if I could just sit at home and make records, I would do that. I mean, I'm grateful to be able to play shows in front of people, mm -hmm. but I I would I would just sit there and write and record all day if I could. I'm an energy guy with Danny. I'm with that. Um, it feels really great to know that there are people that like want to hear oh, yeah. Yeah. what we're making and they enjoy themselves when they come out and I I really like to see that and feed up I, yeah oh, definitely yeah. like crazy it fuels me yeah, for me it's, it it's uh, energy for me as well but then I also like definitely played energy. music uh, my entire life and kind of like doing it with friends and stuff like that is what keeps me going for sure mm. it's just oh, it's fun dude. it's a lot of fun awesome. you know? oh, I, yeah, couldn't yeah. Do, I couldn't do it on my own boys <laughs> Honestly, when I sit down on a drum set and just play for myself, I kind of actually get bored. Mm. 
Um, for me, it's not actually the act of playing drums, but it's the communal thing for me, playing with yeah, people that yeah, I like. Makes it great. That's what makes it fun. Yeah, and then so. not just that, but like you guys said, the energy from people out there. I have never gotten more compliments on my playing than I have with this band and any other thing I've ever done. And it feels really good to know that people appreciate what we're doing as a band and as individuals. Like everyone always, they don't just compliment the band, but they're like, you're all so talented. And they talk about us as individuals. And that just like really like makes me want to keep doing it. You know, yeah, it, feels it feels good. good. It feels yeah, good. It's, good. it's great. It's, yeah, it's a little ego boost, I guess, but you know. Yeah. It's, it, gets, it gets knocked down the next day. And <laughs> yeah. Always. Always, always gotta go back to work on Monday. Yeah. But it's about the energy for me when it comes down to it. That's for sure. All the people that came out to our shows, we hit it really hard this summer and played a lot to the point to where, you know, I've heard from people that like, oh, we're not going to come out this weekend because we can see you guys in two days, you know. But still, we're spreading them out. Everyone, yeah, everyone comes out and that that has came out. We appreciate it for sure. A lot, yeah.